Surprise, motherfucker! What's up? This is your friendly neighborhood, Vendra Satanus. Uh, got my... Ta-da! Uh, tie-dyed. Kind of like a dark tie-dyed shirt. Every once in a while, I like to... get outside of my usual black Star Wars or horror t-shirt thing. And spring is almost here. Uh, in Wisconsin, at least, usually spring happens very close to the end of April. So, excited about that. Uh, anyway, what is this video about? God only knows. Um, okay, uh, I've got a little bit of free time, which is amazing. Because I, I put the last finishing touches yesterday on the manuscript for advanced game mastering like a fucking boss and I sent that along with the artwork to the layout guy and uh oh also to drive through rpg so they could vet it themselves and make sure that i'm not violating any whatever rules or protocols or terms of service anything at all um and then I'm sure I'll get some notes from them. And then I will incorporate that into um, the layout. The layout right now is sort of a preliminary, like, blocking. Uh, just making sure that, like, things will fit and get approximate page count and things like that. The deep dive layout won't happen with the corrections and things like that. It won't happen until after I get drive throughs okay. So, just want to... Uh, just remark on the process there a little bit. Um, okay, so on the blog today, I'm going to have a random table. Um, and this is kind of nice. I, this is what I like in between projects is I get more time to just think and imagine and wonder and come up with like cool shit. Um, and just blog about it or just like say it on social media or whatever and um and see if if it resonates with people if they like it if they don't hopefully people use it and let me know what they think okay so today's blog post is going to be about um adventure time i haven't watched adventure time in well i watched like three or four episodes about a month ago but before that i hadn't watched Adventure Time in like a couple of years. Um, I watched it, you know, pretty religiously for a while with when the old when the older girls were younger, and they liked it up into a certain point at like the fourth or fifth season, I think, where it started to get a little more dark, a little darker, a little more mature, and um, my oldest started getting nightmares, and we kind of. My wife and I thought that maybe that was contributing, and we stopped watching Adventure Time for a couple of weeks, and the nightmare stopped. And then I think we were like, is it that, or was it just like a coincidence? And so we started watching Adventure Time like a couple more times, and then there was another nightmare, and then we're like, okay, cold turkey. We're not, we're not subjecting them to the nightmarish horror of Adventure Time anymore. But... I thought, because Chult is so open and nebulous, purposefully, for you can so you can bring your own whatever into it. Um, as I've said multiple times, and other people have started repeating it, which is fantastic. Uh, no two Chult campaigns should ever be exactly alike. Uh, I, I don't think you can probably say that about most official published campaign settings. Um, in fact, I think the goal of many campaign settings like, I don't know, Greyhawk or Forgotten Realms or whatever, is that they want a homogenization, um, homogenization, one of those, uh, and the standardization of, you know, aesthetics and, and tropes and 
and adventure seeds and you know uh, lore and culture and, and everything they wanted you know everybody's Greyhawk or or Forgotten Realms or Spelljammer or whatever uh, to look kind of similar to each other. I kind of went with the opposite direction with Chult. I wanted everybody's Chult campaign to look very noticeably different from your neighbors. Uh, you know, from the, the guy running Chult, blogging about it, uh, you know, somewhere else, across the street or in another state or country. And one of the one of the great things, one of the great modular, open ended, um, you season to taste things about Chalt is that uh, it takes on other flavor profiles really well. Like if Chalt is, I don't know, say chicken and rice or something like that, or or pizza or something like you know, whatever, uh, you are supposed to add in, you know, the special sauce uh, or seasoning or pizza toppings and to like really not only make it sing and come alive, uh, but to suit your own natural tastes and inclinations, your own aesthetics and vibe. Um, so I thought maybe I should do, maybe I could do uh, a series um, with like random tables of like how to make your Chult campaign more like XYZ. So this time it's going to be adventure time. Uh, but maybe in a few days or next week I could do vintage Doctor Who or something like that. Something like that. Uh, or I could do something even more obvious, um, that's already kind of baked in like Star Wars or Dune or... Lovecraftian horror or whatever. Um, and I think that'll just give people uh, new and cool ideas that they can use and try out themselves with their own Chult campaign. Uh, and of course you can also marry Chult with other campaign settings and kind of get like a different mixture. Uh, you get different results. You know, if you mix Chult with Carcosa or Chult with Dark Sun. Or Chult with Gamma World, or Mutant, whatever. Uh, you're going to get a completely different experience. Completely different flavor profile than if you just use Chult on its own. Or if you use Chult with, you know, primarily the published uh, adventures and, and things that I've come up with, that I've published and included. Um, versus, you know, Chult where... You take uh, the inspiration and the essence, and then you write your own material, um, which is also fantastic. And this is something that I'm also going to be using in my own Chult campaign or campaigns uh, if I get a secondary virtual Chult campaign off the ground, which I'm hoping to by the end of this month, maybe on a bi-weekly basis, perhaps. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, I'm starting with Adventure Time. Um, I did put sort of a crowdsourcing tweet out this morning asking if people had suggestions. I, su I already came up with like five or six suggestions uh, that I thought were pretty cool. Um, and in that Adventure Time vein. And I'm asking for other ones. Uh, so visit the blog post. I'll put the description in the link in the description below. So you can check that out. And then in a couple more days, there's going to be an, an, an insert uh, of the Chult webcomic. Uh, so what we do is every month there's a new issue, uh, which is just like one full page of the webcomic. And then, uh, which is called Under Fuchsia Sky. And then... In between that, so every two weeks, like in between issues, there's going to be like an interstitial or like a, like an insert, um, which is just one page, uh, which is just one like image with some text or, or dialogue or something like that. Uh, so the new one by, by Jay Tanaka, uh, follow him on Twitter, uh, at OSR Tanaka, I believe. 
Um, he's finished it. Uh, he just has to send me by the end of today, um, like the full file. Uh, he sent me like just an image, which I approved. And then he's got to send me the file. And then I don't like to do blog posts like back to back to back. So I'm going to wait a couple of days. I'm going to put that out. And then in maybe in another three weeks, issue number three of Under Future Sky will come out, which will be fantastic. And I'll probably do um, a Kickstarter to monetize that or just to like recoup my expenses because I'm just paying out of pocket because it's free. Um, uh, and it, you know, it costs money every single time because uh, I want to pay him. Uh, for his awesome time and services and, you know, the energy and expertise that he puts out um, and puts into the project. Um, and I want it for the audience and I want it for myself, but uh, it would be nice, you know, if this was an ongoing thing for like a full year, um, you know, if I don't have to foot the, the bill for, you know, the other 10 issues or something like that, then... You know, it'd be nice to be reimbursed. So I might do a Kickstarter for that in May, like May 1st, around there. Walpurgis Knox, May Eve, uh, something like that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, there's also VengerCon in July, Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, you should come on and um, I'll put a link in the description below for that too. Uh, limited to 100 attendees. It's just going to be wall-to-wall, nonstop gaming all weekend with me and a bunch of other uh, OSR people. Uh, old school OSR, traditional RP RPGs. So just going to be all role-playing games the entire weekend. If we're not eating or drinking or sleeping, we're going to be role-playing like the entire fucking time. It's going to be amazing, just like it was last year. Uh and then, uh, you know, I'm also selling the hardcover uh, Chult Trilogy. So I'll also put a link in the description below for the uh, the current sale price. Um, I have been selling a, a fair decent amount, uh, which is very encouraging and awesome. And, and thank you for that. If you purchase one or if you're about to purchase one, also thank you. Because not only it, will it allow me to get enough books out of my basement... For my wife to be cool with me coming up with book four of the Chult Trilogy. Uh, but, you know, it's it's just gratifying to know that Chult is out there. It's being used and played and loved. And that, um, you know, it encourages me to, to keep going and keep writing and keep creating. Keep making stuff for you guys and myself. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely buy, and I can afford to do more, you know, um, if I have X amount of books in my basement, then unsold, then I can't like just keep doing this, um, mon mon monetarily wise, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, it's a hobby business. I don't do it for the money, but at the end of the day, I can't just keep pouring money into certain things, um, without any kind of return. I've got a pretty decent return already and uh the numbers are encouraging of people buying more trilogies or more single books that's fine too uh you know i, I sold a couple over gary con i'll probably sell a couple more at venture con uh but yeah it's nice when i can you know uh ship books out to people uh who will who will love them and use them. And uh, I would love to read your gaming experiences or, or see them on a vlog. If you're more about that, either a session report or a review or whatever. Um, uh, Raven Wolfgar uh, is doing a, a part two, I think, of his Chultz trilogy overview, and uh, which is incredible. I think that's happening on the 15th. I might be there for that. Uh, I know Colin, my buddy, who's in my Chult campaign, uh, he's going to be there talking it up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody, if you if you love Chult, talk about it. Talk about it on social media. Talk about it on YouTube, Facebook, MeWe. Is MeWe still alive? I, I keep posting on MeWe. 
And there are different groups on Facebook too. They just seem dead. Um, but you know, I post links anyway. Uh, Reddit. Is anybody on Reddit anymore? Probably. Uh, cause I keep seeing things. I'm not on Reddit because everything, most of everything I do on Reddit either gets downvoted or, or removed by the administrators. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a leftist cesspit, I think, but I don't know. Uh, lots of cool stuff out there. So I'm going to end this video. God damn. This is another long one. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, may all your crits be something and, um, slimy tentacles and whatever. All right.